Hi, I'm Matt from Haltech, and today on Technically Speaking, we are going to be looking at the integration of the RacePack Smart Wire with the Haltech ECU. Okay, so we've had some questions. What exactly is this RacePack Smart Wire thing that you have here? Well, basically, it's a power distribution module. And what it allows you to do is do away with all of your fuses and all of your relays and plug them directly into the smart wire. Now, the smart wire gets all of its information from the Haltech and from this here switch panel. So the Haltech sends it information about engine RPM, um, whether it wants the fuel pump on or off, uh, coolant temperature, air temperature, and then from that, you can make decisions like, do I want to turn on a cooling fan? Do I want to turn on a gearbox fan? Now, in addition to just being a replacement for your fuse block and your relays, the smart wire is actually very intelligent. What it allows you to do is set uh, the current limit at which you turn off an output. Um, if a fuse was to effectively blow, you can retry that circuit. You can set the number of times to retry the circuit and how long in between tries. You can tell it, well, after five tries, this circuit obviously has a problem, so don't try anymore. Or you could say, well, after five tries, just keep trying to, to turn it back on. So it's a very intelligent system. Now, in addition to receiving information from the Haltech ECU, the RacePack smart wire can also talk to the Haltech RacePack dash. So in the dash here, we can display all of the states of anything connected to either the smart wire or the Haltech. Uh, we can also, we can show, for example, the amount of voltage that's being sent out to the fuel pump or maybe a gearbox pump or a fan or a water pump. Uh, we can display information like RPM and gear like you normally can, or you can display a fault condition. Say, for example, one of the circuits stops working. Uh, in this case, we're going to turn on the load here. We've intentionally designed this circuit to fail so that this circuit's going to hopefully trip this smart wire. Uh, we're going to get a light here on the dash saying, wait a minute, something's gone wrong. It says fuse one has blown. So we get information on the dash. The actual smart wire itself tells us, hang on, there's a problem here. One of the outputs isn't working. The dash tells us it's fuse one. So we're also using the smart wire to power the fuel injectors and the pumps and the fans. And so if I increase our RPM on the engine here, the ECU is obviously telling the injectors when to fire and how long to open for, but the, the race pack is providing power to them. It's also providing power to the ignition system. Uh, as we increase the coolant temperature, our fans come on, the pump comes on, and we can actually turn on the pump at one temperature, a fan at a different temperature. We can see how much voltage is being drawn by the pump. So we can externally turn a pump on here. We can turn the pump off. So we can use multiple inputs to do the same thing. So in this case, we've got a, f a pump override and we have the ECU controlling the pump. Uh, that's something that's very difficult to do when you're using a normal traditional fuse block and relay. Now the smart wire also allows you to cater for a car with existing switch panels or if you wanted to put in a whole new race pack CNC machine switch panel on its own right. So if you have an existing switch panel, you can wire that directly into the switch module here. So your existing switches can interface directly with the race pack. If you're starting from scratch, then it's easy. You don't even need to wire in all the individual switches. You simply buy this bar of eight switches across here and it connects directly into the race pack via CAN. Uh, you can set up what each of these switches does. We can turn the switch on and you can see we've got an LED saying that's on or off. Uh, if a fault condition arises, that also shows up on there as well, as well as on the smart wire unit itself. All of the information that's in the smart wire can go to the dash. Um, we have a, an approved rollover switch as well. So in this case, car rolls over, everything shuts down. And because the smart wire is controlling not just the dash uh, and the pumps, but injectors, ECU, everything shuts down. All of the channels that come through the ECU and the smart wire can be logged in the dash. 
So uh, you can log steering angle. If you had GPS going in there, you can log that as well, plus all the information from the Haltech ECU. And that all gets transmitted over this CAN network, which is essentially a single wire that goes between the dash, the ECU, and the smart wire. Keeping your wiring to a minimum in a race car, that's good because it's simple. There's really infinite uses for this smart wire system. Any race car, uh, you, could, you could use it for a street car, especially where you're doing an engine conversion of some sort. You can do away with all that messy wiring. You could include your indicated hazard lights, reverse lights, brake lights, headlights. Everything can be controlled through the smart wire, as well as integration with your Howtech ECU. Well, hopefully that's given you a little bit of information about how the RacePack smart wire can integrate with the Howtech ECU. For further questions, don't hesitate to contact us at either support at howtech.com or call our Australian or our US office. Well, I'm Matt from Howtech, and I'll see you next time.